Welcome back to Nobia Series. I'm Brian. And I'm Stephanie. And tonight we are in Disney Springs. Yes. For another magical dining month dining review. And where are we going, Brian? We're going right here to Wolfgang Pucks, right behind us. Yes. So as a reminder, the magical dining month is something that Visit Orlando puts on through restaurants all throughout Orlando, where you get a prefix meal of an appetizer, entree, and dessert, all for $40, a dollar of that going to a charity in the local area. And uh, there are restaurants, like I said, all throughout Orlando, and this is one in Disney Springs. Yeah. So come along, and we will report back as to what we get. Yep. See you inside. All right, we are inside of Wolfgang Puck's Bar and Grill. And just to let you know, it is very loud, so apologize for that in advance. And it is also making our camera really dark, but it is not dark in here at all. It's actually pretty bright, nice, open, and that's probably why it's so uh, loud, is because it's like a concrete floor and wide open ceiling. So everything's bouncing off of each other. Yes. And it makes it sound extra lively and fun. So, you know, if you like that kind of place, this is a place to come. Yeah. And so we did place our order. We did get the magical dining and we also ordered some drinks. So I'll uh, go over those first. Okay. I ordered the Kakamora's Dart, which is plantation pineapple rum, Malibu coconut rum, and lime. Yes. And he got the Fenwick Springs California 2015 yes. Merlot. I heard whatever 2015 that means. was a great year for Merlot and California. I'm just kidding. I don't know anything. The about grapes that. were just on point. Yes. Something like that. And then uh, for magical dining, uh, I'll give you Brian's order first. He got the bruschetta, which uh, the server did recommend, and she did warn us that the magical dining appetizer portions are going to be half portions of the appetizers. So the bruschetta is marinated tomatoes, mozzarella, pesto, and ciabatta. He got the oven, oven roasted Scottish salmon, which is comes with braised butter beans, pancetta, and roasted tomato. And then he got the house-made carrot cake, which is cream cheese icing, candied walnuts, and caramel sauce. Yeah. And so I got what was another one of her recommendations. She said it was her favorite salad. Is The wedge salad is the marinated cherry tomatoes, bacon, blue cheese, and ranch dressing. I got the mesquite, mesquite grilled pork chop, which is comes with creamy porcini polenta, toffee glazed apples, and thyme. And then I got the Spanish cheesecake, which comes with house-made caramel sauce. Looking forward to trying it. Um, just to let you know where Wolfgang Pucks is in Disney Springs, it is right by Planet Hollywood. Is that yeah, what it's called? Chicken Planet? Guy Chick too. Yeah, Chicken Guy is right across the street, the way, not the street, and uh, right by the AMC movie theater. So we parked in the Orange Garage and it's just right around the corner. It's right next door to the Coca-Cola store. Yep. So easy to find and easy to get here. Uh, it's also like a rainy day, so thankfully we're close to the parking garage and uh, pretty easy. This weekend is Brian's last full weekend before he heads out to South Korea. Yes. And so we're doing three reviews this weekend so that no one has to see my lovely face by myself again. <laughs> and uh, Brian's going to be filming, I guess not really by yourself. Your brother will be with you some of the yeah. time. We'll see what happens. But there will be a lot of South Korea content coming. Um, the three reviews we're doing this weekend are going to be Magical Dining reviews to take us through the end of the month because Magical Dining does run until October 2nd. And um, make sure you take advantage of it because it is a really great deal to try some restaurants, um, especially like new restaurants to you or restaurants that you're wanting to try. All right, our favorite part of every meal is here, the drinks. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. Not as heavy on the rum as I thought it was going to be. It's you can definitely taste the Malibu, the coconut, pineapple. The um, it's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, definitely a a very tropical drink that I like. Not super sweet, but sweet enough. You get that coconut rum flavor, which which I love. Yeah. The wine is really good too. Really nice and not acidic. Very smooth. 2015 was a good year for the grapes. A great year. A great yeah. year? Yes. And uh, I can taste the tannins. It kind of makes my mouth pucker a little bit. But that might have to do with sipping Stephanie's drink right before. Uh, I didn't get that right away. But it's very good. Very uh, smooth finish. Last yeah. night, our uh, TV finally went out. It's like It's been getting like this dark spot on it. But the dark spot has been growing and getting darker. Yeah, yesterday so. when I came home from work, I was like, I can barely see <laughs> in yeah. that box. 
So it was a great TV. It lasted us uh, eight, nine years. And so we decided to get a new one. And I was like looking online and they're like five days shipping was like pretty much standard. And I was like, man, I don't want to wait five days. Like you can't see half the screen. So I was like, let me find one that's in stock. Wait, so, and football started yesterday. Yeah, first game of NFL. So I was like, all right, if I want it Best Buy, so we drive down there in the Jeep, 75 inch TV, and we tell the lady, um, hey, you know, she's like, when do you want it delivered? We're like, oh no, we brought the Jeep. She's like, it won't fit in the Jeep. I was like, uh, I looked at the dimensions before of the box. Uh, I measured and I think it will fit. It'll be tight, but it'll fit. And she's like, it won't fit. And I was like, are you sure it won't fit in the four door Jeep? Cause we have a four door Jeep. And she was like, no. Okay. Yeah, well, can you humor me? Can we try? And she's like, yeah, sure. So the two guys come wheeling it out and they're like, oh, it's not gonna fit. And I'm like, ah, can we try? Slowly yeah. like pushing it in, pushing it in. He's like, see, it won't fit. And there was like two inches out the back and uh, couldn't close the tailgate. So I was like, well, what if we push the seats all the way forward? So we pushed all the seats forward and that gave us that two or three inches we needed. And we could close the tailgate, but we had to leave the glass um, top up. So, we probably could have closed it, but it would have been really iffy as to the pressure that was on it to break yeah, it. So I didn't want to break the glass. Yeah. So then I go to get in the driver's seat and I can't fit. And so Stephanie's like, let me try. And I'm like, okay. So she gets in there and she squeezes in there and she's sitting there and the I, steering wheel's literally on her chest. And I'll let you tell the rest. Yeah, I mean, we're not small people, obviously. We run a food uh, review channel, so don't trust the skinny chef, don't trust the uh, skinny reviewers. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm like this, my knees are on the dashboard. My Like, I don't have any room to move my feet, really. So it's not the safest way to drive, uh, but we had a TV to get home. And um, drove home, thankfully, the place isn't that far away from where we live, but yeah. far enough. And we made it safely, but... Yeah. So we got the TV set up just before kickoff and a wonderful start to the NFL season. Congratulations, Buffalo. Uh, I'm not a big Buffalo fan, but for all you out there, I think you guys have a wonderful chance of winning the Super Bowl this year. The team looked amazing. And, and uh, Gabe Davis went to UCF. Go Knights. Yeah, and he scored a touchdown too. So, um, so really cool. Really cool start. Uh, that was our little journey last But our appetizers arrived. Yes. They look good. They're much bigger than I thought they were going to be, so that's yeah, a she, positive. She said it's a half portion. But yeah, this that's pretty does big. Does not look like a half portion. Yeah. So we'll let you try yours first. Go ahead. We'll try them at the same time. Okay. That bread is amazing. Um, there's one thing I would do. I would toast the bread a little bit more. But the crust is nice and crispy. It's nice and soft in the middle. And they've got these tomatoes, uh, mozzarella. They've got basil and uh, some balsamic vinaigrette. And then they, I don't remember what this sauce is here. It's like a pesto or something, a pesto like sauce. A pesto. Oh my God, it is delicious. How's and yours? The salad's really good. I mean, it's a, a wedge salad. There's not a lot of specialness to it, but I will say it is better than the one, the Caesar that we had at Four Flamingos. It's got a nice flavor. I'm glad I had them add the cracked pepper. Um, and you can't be bacon on a salad, so we'll switch and try them. Yeah. We used to have a saving in the military. It's like, you mess something up, put bacon in it. It'll taste better. Yeah, I agree with Brian. That bread is delicious. Like, so soft. Like, I thought it was going to be a little crispy, but it's so soft and flavorful. The, the cheese, the pesto sauce, everything goes really well on it. It's a really good appetizer. Yeah. And the portion is pretty good for... I mean, I was expecting a half portion of told us it was two little half. ciabatta pieces or something, and yeah. it's going to be like, well, that's a bummer. I mean, this is enough to fill a person up. Like, yeah. This, you could just eat this. Um, and Stephanie's um, wet salad is, is really good. Like, what I what I appreciate most about it is the simple thing is it's super fresh lettuce. Like, it's crispy. It's... Um, refreshing when you bite into it, meaning it's like got some water content to it. Um, crispy and refreshing. Amazing. I can't tell you how many times I eat at a restaurant, get a salad, and the lettuce is wilted or just not fresh. That is fresh. We have received our entrees. <laughs> our food has arrived. Nice. And it looks um, interesting. When I say interesting, I'm looking at the mushrooms that are on my plate and they have done a crisscross grill 
mark on them, which is interesting. You see them? Oh, yeah. But it, oh, it looks good. Um, Brian and I were saying these do look like smaller portions than a normal, um, yeah. a normal full portion, but if you can see, like, we're going to be full off of eating these, so it's really yeah. not. And she, she did say that they are slightly smaller. Um, I have a feeling they're more. And then, uh, just a tip, because I forgot and Stephanie reminded me after I ordered. I uh, know, just as it arrived. Yeah, which is after I ordered. Yeah, true. Um, that she said, uh, so they pan fry the fish and then they they finish it in the oven. And, I, and she said it comes medium. And I was like, oh, well, can I order it less than medium? And she's like, yeah, absolutely. It's sushi great. So I was going to get it pan seared in like maybe a minute in the oven or two. And, but it's it's well done. It's I'm well done. I'm sure it's delicious because no, all salmon be. is delicious. It won't be moist. It's going to be dry. I can already see by looking at it. But it does have these nice sauce and beans on the bottom. So that might make it... Uh, more palatable but it's overdone and it's my fault I didn't let her know okay it's a little more tender than I thought it was gonna be when I cut into it it's actually a lot more moist than it looks like it was gonna be which I'm happy with and I think the liquid on the bottom does help that um, I took the little piece of the corner because I'm not the biggest seafood fan but I mean you don't get the serious fishy flavor I took a piece of like I think the pancetta or whatever else like is in there um, I get a little bit of a pepperness in there but yeah. overall it's a pretty like and she said that that's our like lightest dish on the menu and I can see like if you are looking to save some calories it's a good dish I'm a little torn because I didn't order the salmon the way I wanted it but um, so that's not the restaurant so that's my fault um, I love the sauce. The sauce is great. I just want to like ladle it over the top before I take each bite. And the beans, honestly, the garbanzo beans, they're not, uh, they're a little underdone or what you would call maybe al dente. Well, I want to go back, rewind time. Rewind the camera and I can reorder. I don't know that that's how it works, babe. It is. Well, now we're going to try the pork chop. Yes. I'm going to try her polenta while she's cutting off a piece of the pork chop. Yeah, but from Stephanie's reaction, I want to try this a little bit with the polenta and a little bit with the, uh, the you know, mushroom? Trump, trumpet mushroom. Yeah. They look like mermaid tails. <laughs> Don't they? Even the shape? Yeah, we're going to change the name of them. They're no longer trumpet mushrooms. They're mermaid tails. Yeah. She said that was her favorite on the menu. And I see why. Yeah, it's got. I get the sweet and savory she's talking about. Yeah, so the pork chop has like a almost like, it's almost like a maple flavor on it, like the sweetness. I don't even know how really to describe it. Like the savoriness from the polenta, and it's got the cheese. I think she said it's got mascarpone and some other cheese in it. Yeah, I can't remember what it. Cheese, goat think. cheese. Yes. Thank you, Brian. And then the the mushrooms like. Everything pairs well together. I have one small critique on it. It's the polenta. So I don't know any of you who follow Gordon Ramsay. Like he gets so mad when the polenta is not cooked per perfectly, and it's a little gritty. It's just mm -hmm. a tiny bit gritty. It could be creamier, um, but that is such a small detail to me because, like Stephanie said, all the flavors go together so well. Like, it is delicious. Yeah. Highly recommend getting the pork chop. Yeah. So good. Waiting for our desserts. Seeing if those match our expectations. I'm pretty sure they're going to be delicious carrot cake and cheesecake. Yeah. With caramel. Both of them. Yeah. So. How can you... So here is the cheesecake. And here is the carrot cake. <laughs> the cheesecake looks nice and light and fluffy. Um, almost like whipped and um, my pers personal preference I like a dense cheesecake this one is not dense just like you said light and whipped yeah. very very light very fluffy got the it's like a very light cheesecake flavor it's not yeah. heavy on the cream cheese yeah it's got a lot of sweetness 
Yeah. Um, it doesn't have a crust. It does have some graham crapper, crackers, <laughs> not crackers, <laughs> on the plate, along with a caramel sauce. Um, so scoop all that up and make a perfect bite. Yeah, and like the caramel, the graham cracker. I even like the, the burnt crust on the top. Yeah. It's, it's wonderful, uh, but I just don't like the light whip. And I get it, like, delicious, don't get me wrong. But I just like the dense cheesecake, bite into, creamy, melt in your mouth. And this is just fluffy, um, but great flavor. It's delicious. It's I like it. I mean, I wish there was an actual crust to it, but maybe that's the Spanish part of the cheesecake. Carrot cake is more dense. It's not whipped. Um, just kidding. You wouldn't whip it, but it comes in these layers. It has like this cream cheese frosting in between the layers. I really like that. It has this walnut on top. Um, it's really good. I like more of a cakey, um, lighter actually, in contrast to the cheesecake. And this is more dense. It's dense, um, but very moist. Yeah, it's very moist, I agree. And you get the shredded coconut, and I think that's like cinnamon gelato. Is that what I'm picking up, or no? So yeah, so we're gonna finish up here, and we'll see you outside. All right, we are all done inside of Wolfgang Puck's Bar and Grill in Disney Springs. And for magical dining, just throw it all out there. Brian, what did you think? Uh, I think the pork chop was the way to go for magical dining. It was delicious. I would have really loved to have ordered my salmon uh, less than medium, but I didn't get that opportunity because uh, of my own fault. And Actually, I had the opportunity. I just didn't take advantage of it. And I would say the wedge salad was delicious. The bruschetta was delicious. The dessert, I preferred the carrot cake lightly over the cheesecake just because I like dense cheesecake. Uh, but the cheesecake was delicious too. So uh, really hard to not recommend anything here <laughs> so far yeah. that we've tried. What about you? Yeah, I, I mean, I highly recommend coming to this place. I was telling Brian, I haven't really seen a lot of reviews about Wolfgang Pucks. So it seems to be like maybe because I guess it's been open for four years. So it's a little bit of an older restaurant in Disney Springs. But I think it's like a hidden gem. Like people just kind of forget about it. Yeah. And um, you know, the menu prices aren't too bad for the Disney Springs area. Like okay. their typical, you know, prices. The food was delicious. The service was great. The drinks were amazing. Like, yeah, you can't go wrong. I don't if think if you're visiting from out of the state out of the area make sure you go to visit orlando and i put the link in the description check out the magical dining uh list if you i'm sorry the <laughs> restaurants um don't necessarily advertise that they're doing magical dining on the outside or on yeah. the inside you have to ask for the menu yeah. um otherwise they're going to give you the full price menu and you're going to have no idea right right so yeah. uh, so if you are here right around september ish uh, yeah, from just late August to beginning of October, yeah. <laughs> make sure you're checking. Yeah, and it, it is really a great deal. I mean, our our tab came up to $180, but that was with drinks. We re reloaded twice or once? Twice. Oh, twice. no, once. I'm once. sorry. Once, yes. yeah. We, we reloaded once, and uh, that was with tip and tax and all that. But if you came here and didn't, didn't get any alcoholic drinks, yeah. you drank water, you get out of here for $80 plus tax and uh, tip. Yeah. So right around a hundred bucks, but uh, we we got drinks and apparently there's about eighty dollars worth of drinks. Sixty four dollars of drinks. Yeah, with tax and tip. Yeah. So, but uh, overall great experience. Come check it out. Yeah. So remember to give us a like, comment, and subscribe. Give us a follow on Instagram under Nobia Cedaries. We hope you have a great week, and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah.